Hey YouTube world, it's me Evelyn. I'm coming to you in the spirit of art class, okay? I'm coming to you in the spirit of um, that dusty fragrance of crayon nubs. I am hype and humbled to say that this video is made in partnership with H-E-B. Now, if you from Central and South Texas, you already know. You already know. You already know how big this is. Um, H-E-B is our beloved grocery store here in this particular region of Texas. And they asked me to put some positivity out into the community, some wholesome content. So we're finna color. I posted on Instagram a couple days ago, some doodles I did of ways we can help each other locally during this pandemic. Hashtag Texans helping Texans. Hashtag y'all means all. And I wanna keep it going, okay? I wanna keep doodling, I wanna keep coloring. They say draw what you know, so um, I'ma draw some hot Cheetos. With lime, of course. The snack of my childhood, uh, adolescence, and uh, adulthood as of yesterday. I, I tore up a bag. So yeah, we finna draw a bag of hot Cheetos for funsies. That's the only agenda of this video, you know? Maybe we can keep each other company. You can draw along with me, grab your supplies, or you can just sit back, relax, and watch the shenanigans ensue. Quick disclaimer, um, this is not a tutorial, so buckle up. I already sketched out the snack food in question with a pencil and I'm going over it in pen. The goal isn't to draw an exact replica of Hot Cheetos because I don't know how to do all that. It's just to get the essence of the Cheetos onto the page. Turns out an imperfect wobbly rectangle makes a great shape for a chip bag. I looked up some photos online to reference how to draw the logo's font and it ain't Hot Cheetos without the flames. So I'm drawing this irregular looking flame wavy pattern type thing since a bag of hot cheetos has four very distinct colors and the flames separate them all but we're not there yet for whatever reason i did all of that before closing the other side of the bag but we press on next you gotta draw the little flame boy uh, demon boy, is that a demon? And I'm spending some time drawing all these little irrelevant encoutrements because <laughs> I'm avoiding the hardest part of this whole undertaking, which is drawing Chester the cheetah. All right. Just do it. Look, his face don't make sense, okay? He's a cartoon. I can't get a grasp of the proportions in space and time. So I'm just making this up. I can't draw his whole body, so we're just doing his head. Fun fact, uh, Cheetos, crunchy Cheetos, were invented in San Antonio, Texas. But hot Cheetos, I believe, were invented by a janitor by the name of, what is his name, Robert Menendez? I, don't, I should know his name. We are forever indebted to Tio, what's his name? Hold up, let's look. Richard Montanez. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't close, but my heart was in it. Your girl is struggling and erasing and erasing and struggling. So we're just gonna leave it where we're at, okay? And start coloring. So he actually was, I believe, a custodian at the Frito-Lay factory in California. And he invented flaming hot Cheetos. I believe he is now, if he hasn't retired, I don't know how old he is. I, he did end up being like a, a, an executive at Frito-Lay. <laughs> I think I had a hand cramp then. <laughs> I think that, that's what that was. So I'm using this green marker to trace the, the green part because I was just trying to be I was trying to be somebody. I was going in with a green color pencil and then I realized, hey, so uh, this is the wrong shade of green. 
So I'm looking for my lime green or my yellow green. And it's not until I'm done coloring the entire section green that I actually find the correct one. So I go back over with the bright, vibrant green color pencil. I used a yellow marker to color in the actual Cheetos logo and the coloring continues. And I have found myself yet again stalling because I'm really not trying to mess up Chester the Cheetah. Then all this work will have been for naught. So we going in with the tan, you feel me? Things are looking decent. We're going in with the orange, you know what I'm saying? Kind of liven him up a little bit. He was looking a little pale in the face. What I'm really doing is stalling, coloring in the dots, and I'm just nervous that I'll mess it up, thusly ruining the entire picture. His mouth's supposed to be open, but it still looks kind of weird. Like the proportions are kind of off, um, but. We're going in, we're going in with the uh, color pencil the black color pencil, then I'm trying a pen, okay? Then I'm trying a marker. We're leveling up. We're feeling confident. I think I better quit while I'm ahead. I would agree. And then we just finish off the drawing with a little bit of shading, some attention to detail. That's a white gel pen I'm using on his nose snout. I don't, what is that called? I think that's it. Yeah. Thumbnail. Good look. The proportions kind of freaked me out, but it's decent. I would love y'all to tag me in y'all's drawings. Thanks so much to HEB for sliding into this little corner of the internet. And in the comments below, let me know a couple things. Number one, where are my Texas cousins at? Drop your city in the comments. Number two, let me know how people in your community, wherever you are, are banding together to support each other, help each other, entertain each other, just keep each other, you know what I'm saying, going. And that includes staying in the house. Unless you're going to the grocery store. I have put, have we? we we've put hot Cheetos in our curbside pickup order, but no hoarding. Okay, thanks so much for watching and I will see y'all on the internet somewhere. Bye. Okay, the trick, let me tell y'all a quick trick. You get the hot Cheetos, you get some beer salt, lime flavor. I know, hypertension, still. Sprinkle it in the bag, shake it up, enjoy.